Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in and watching our mass meeting today and today we're going to be focusing on telling the time but before we start telling the time we are going to sing our songs, think of our seasons of the year, months of the year, days of the week, let's get going, sit up straight, voice is nice and loud, let's go. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. Okay, and the month of the year at the moment is, well done, it's May. So let's sing it without saying May. January, February, March and April. June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. Fantastic. Now have a think, which month is your birthday in? Shout it out nice and loud. I wonder how long you've got to wait or have you just had your birthday? Now, how many months are there in the year? That's right, there's 12 months in the year and Let's think of the seasons. How many seasons are there in a year? That's right, there's four seasons. There's autumn, winter, spring and summer. Well done. Okay, now let's do our counting in twos, fives and tens. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Now it's extra important today that we think about counting in fives. And the reasons it's important to count in five when you're telling the time is that if you look on this clock, there are 60 minutes in one hour, 60 minutes. And these, the blue dots here are the minutes and this blue hand shows the minutes passing by. And if we go like this, that means it's five minutes past, 10 minutes past, 15 minutes past, 20 past, 25 minutes past, 30 minutes past, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now you may have heard something while I was counting then. I was counting in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And then 60 can also mean o'clock, which would be zero. So the minute hand, it's really important that we know how to count in our fives. On this particular clock, the red hand symbolizes the hour and the blue hand symbolizes the minutes. So let's just do a bit of telling the time. You can write this down on a pen with a pen and paper, or you can just call it out, it's up to you. So I'm going to tell you a time. It's going to be an o'clock time to start with, nice and easy, and I want you to tell me what it is. What is the time? Can you say it in a full sentence? The time is, the time is seven o'clock. Well done. Next one. Can you say it in a full sentence? The time is... Well done. The time is 
10 o'clock. The time is, the time is two o'clock. Well done, last one. The time is five o'clock, fantastic. So you're really good at telling the time to the hour. Now, remember the numbers one to 12 are just like a number nine that you might use like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we were just looking at o'clock. So we might have been looking at 5 o'clock or 8 o'clock. But if we wanted to look at halfway in between the hour, we would have to look halfway between one of these numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to look halfway between seven and eight. We're going to put the hour hand halfway between seven and eight. And let's see what happens to our clock. Now the hour hand is halfway between seven and eight. And the minute hand is pointing down to the 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we could say this is 7, 30. Or we could say it's half past 7. Can you say that? Half past 7. Half past 7. Okay, let's look at another half past. This time I'm going to put my hour hand in between the 9 and the 10. Have a think of what time I'm going to show on my clock if the hour hand is between 9 and 10. Let's see. Okay, so my hour hand is between 9 and 10. My minute hand is pointing to 30. So it's gone past the 9. So it's 9.30, or you could say half past nine. Can you say half past nine? Half past nine. Very good. Let's do one more like that, and then you can try doing it yourself. This time I'm going to put my hour hand between the two and the three. Let's give this a go. I wonder what time it's going to show. So my hour hand is between the two and the three, and my minute hand is pointing down towards the 30, 30 minutes past, half past two. So the time is half past two. Could you say that? Fantastic. Right, this time I'm going to show you three times on my clock, and they're all going to be half past, and I want you to say out loud what it is. Let's see if we can do this. Let's go. The time is half past four. Well done. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. The time is half past eight. Fantastic. One more. The time is half past 11, fantastic, well done. Right, now we're quickly going to have a think about going one hour forward or one hour back. So, let's imagine it is six o'clock in the morning. So the hour hand is pointing at six. You wake up out of your bed, but your parents say, I think you need a bit more sleep. Can you go back to bed for one hour? Now, 
if I have to go back to bed and sleep for one more hour, what time is it going to be? So let's look at our clock. So it's, you've woken up and it's six o'clock in the morning. Very early. And your parents have told you to go back to sleep for one hour. What time do they want you to go back to sleep until? One hour. Seven o'clock. Well done. Seven o'clock. All right, let's do another problem. So it is 11 o'clock. And you're really hungry for your lunch. Oh, I'm so hungry. I need something to eat. And your parents say to you, it's not lunchtime for one more hour. What time is lunchtime going to be? What is one hour after 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock, you need to wait for one hour. What time will your lunch be? That's right, your lunch would be at 12 o'clock. All right, last question. This is a really tricky one, so put your thinking caps on. Okay, you're meeting your friend at six o'clock. And she rings on the telephone and says, actually, I'm busy at six o'clock. Can we meet two hours earlier? Can we meet two hours before? Hmm, okay, that's fine. Of course we can meet two hours before, but what's the time going to be? So if it's earlier, we need to go this way. This is one hour earlier, and this is two hours earlier. So what time does she want to meet you? Let's do it on the clock. So it's six o'clock. Let's go back in time two hours. Well done. She wants to meet you at four o'clock. Okay, I've got a challenge for you to do at home. What I'd like you to do is throughout the day today, I'd like you to look at your analog clock in your house and I'd like you to see what time you do things. What time do you brush your teeth? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you get dressed? What time do you play with your brother or play maybe on your iPad? Have a look at the times and then write them down in your book or on a piece of paper and maybe you could draw a picture of what you're doing next to it. That's your challenge. Now have a go at telling the time as much as you can because the more you practice the better you'll be. Thank you for listening.